that's it. We're live. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick. This I'm is Nick. Nick. This is Carlos. Um, it says you're live. We're building an audience for you. It's exciting. Uh, is anyone watching this? Yeah. People. Ten. There's ten people. Hello. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Nineteen. All right. Cool. Uh, we're here to talk about, uh, we're in India, and we're about to take on the Rickshaw Run Challenge. We're raising money for WWF and Teenage Cancer Trust. Um, Carl, do you want to talk about the things you've experienced and seen with Teenage Cancer Trust and WWF so far? Yeah. Um, why they're good charities and why we're trying to raise money for them. Yeah, so lucky enough uh, last month to go out to Nepal with WWF. Uh, we went to Chitwan National Park and saw their rhino conservation efforts. Uh, it was a great experience and we learned about how they're getting involved with the local communities to make sure that rhinos, especially the greater one-horned rhino, are preserved and conserved and they can multiply their numbers throughout Nepal and India and Kazaranga Park in, in India. Uh, we spent some time in the year down the cancer ward uh, in London with Teenage Cancer Trust and met some of the youth workers, some of the inpatients and the outpatients and they do phenomenal work there as well. The reason why we chose both of those charities is really clear because they focus on uh, issues close to home with us in London and the rest of the UK and issues out here in uh, Asia, specifically Nepal and India, in, in regards to conservation. Yeah, I mean the work that both these charities do, Teenage Cancer Trust I've been a patron of for, for many, many years um, and they've always just done incredible work and when you go there and you speak to the young people in the wards it's very inspiring and you can see what a difference it makes. Yeah, um, it's, it's really clear as well that that's a really important place to have for them because when you're diagnosed it seems like you can often get put with elderly patients which also have similar, similar going through similar treatments to you but they're not going through the same problems as you because you're a teenager or you're a young, a young person and um, Teenage Cancer Trust really does provide the support and access for uh, young people that are fighting cancer. It does, it does. Um, and then uh, WWF, obviously, as everyone knows, does a phenomenal work in preserving wildlife for future generations. Um, so it's very, very important. Uh, what were people saying down here? Um, uh, just say, say hello. Um, hello, hello, hello. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, and then, OK, so now we should talk about our experience in India so far. Um, uh, and our rickshaw, actually, um, Mabel is her name. Uh, we named her yesterday after you guys um, got on Twitter and did the poll. Uh, Mabel won 52% of the vote. Yeah, it was too close. Too it was close. a close call, but she did well. Um, Mabel had some issues yesterday. Um, do you want yeah. to talk about that? Yeah, we, we took her out for kind of a bit of our first ride, um, all going fine. And we, Carlos lost, lost a bit of power. <laughs> and <laughs> Another rickshaw pulled up alongside us and said, uh, your axle's hanging out the back. So, yeah, we were st uh, stranded with an axle that was snapped in half. Um, luckily, the locals are so friendly, and within a couple of minutes, a team of, team of guys had come and sorted us out. They gave us a tow, took us to a mechanic. Yeah. Um, they, they got us all the parts we needed. We and an upgraded horn. Yeah, we, we thought they use the horn so much here. They use the horn if they're turning, if they see another rickshaw, anything, they use the horn. So we thought, best get, best get a new horn. But yeah, they sorted us out, didn't they? Mm -hmm. They gave us everything we needed. Yeah, completely. Um, hello from Peru. Hello from Nepal. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much for having us. We had a wonderful time in your country. Um, uh, and then, what else? So we set off in two days' time. Um, we've got 3,000 kilometers to try and cover in this tuk-tuk, which <laughs> obviously is probably not going to make it, since we've driven it for an hour and we've already broken the axle. Yeah. Um, and yeah, any, any support that you guys can offer us, um, any well wishes, anything you want to say and, and send our way, then um, we'd be massively appreciative, basically. Uh, you can search our page on Virgin Money Giving, it's the Gandhi Warhols. Hello from Hong Kong. Um, hello, Angeline. Hello from Belgium. This is amazing, isn't it? Um, okay. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I guess now that we know that this works and we can do this, we'll kind of like tune in occasionally and give you updates on on how we're doing and how um, Mabel's doing. How Mabel's doing? She's uh, she's tucked up asleep at the moment. We put some new some new upholstery on her, so she's uh, <laughs> she's looking pretty fine, pretty fine. Um, all right, happy New Year, everyone. As happy well. New Year. Um, happy New Year. Hope 2017 is wonderful for you, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Well, I can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're live forever.